Peter Pan is just one of the greatest stories ever written. All of us want to have adventures and fly away, run away from our daily lives and have this sense of freedom and adventure. I think that is universal and timeless, and that is the story of Peter Pan. I wanted this show to be the finale of our grand opening season. Peter Pan to me is a story about the child within every one of us. Uh, that never wants to grow up. We forget sometimes to hold on to our childhood and it really only happens once. We put together a brand new team to approach this brand new musical and we are going to push the limits of what is possible in this theatre. We are creating an entire world. Uh, there will be fairies and mermaids and, and you will see pirates come to life. There's going to be a sense of the epic, so there's going to be flying. Today, I am going to teach you how to fly. All we need is a wonderful thought and of course, some fairy dust. Here at the new Wild Rice Theatre, we're going to make this magic a reality. Okay, the most important thing about flying is that you need to wear this harness, basically. Uh, it's very painful, you strap it to yourself and they have to strap it in tight. And then there's this fly guy who climbs up and down the ladder and counters your weight. So when you want to go up, he goes down. And when you want to go down, he goes up. And it's live in the theatre, you can see it all happening. It's actually very painful because your harness is just gripping onto you and hauling you up. But you have to look like it's effortless. Like that. But actually it's like... But outside... Like that. Every single person involved in this production is bringing their A game. In writing the music, what really inspired me most was um, just the wistfulness of Peter Pan. Actually, it's a really beautiful story about what it means to transition from childhood into adulthood and how that doesn't have to be a scary process at all. In fact, it can be quite magical um, and beautiful. The only thing that grows is the pain you won't let go. Growing up could be an awfully great adventure. Stronger, braver, wiser in the world. And the child you are won't become a stranger. He'll be there inside, safe inside, there to help you make it through the world. And then to see it staged and with Lisa's amazing choreography and these kids singing and to finally have that come true, you know, I just feel like the luckiest person in the world sometimes. We're really lucky in the theatre because we continue to use our inner child all the time. So the hideout for the Lost Boys was taken completely from nature. I went to the Mangrove Forest Reserve in the northern part of Singapore. And I'd never been to one before. I was a little concerned in the fact that every two feet that says watch out for crocodiles. But other than that, <laughs> I was struck by the root system and the way that they get entangled and the way that they create a kind of thicket. And as soon as I saw that, I saw a particular one where there's four or five of them or kind of clustered together, I went, oh my heavens, that would be a, a perfect hideout for the lost boys. This space was built for a story like Peter mm. Pan. Instead of being far removed, you were actually in Neverland, you're so close to it. We're setting it in present day and we're setting it in Singapore. The people that come to see this play will feel very much a part of it. They'll be able to recognize themselves in the play. It's Peter Pan as we've never seen or heard it before because it's specially made for us. In this show, the impossible is made possible because of belief. Think a wonderful thought and you fly. I think what is so special about this show is it tells us that, you know, everything is possible if you just believe.